Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing this look on my face right here. It is a everyday Little Mermaid Ariel makeup look because most of the looks I've seen in the Little Mermaid or Ariel are like purple and green eyeshadow and I'm like, yes, her fin is green. Yes, her shell bra is purple, but you don't see her wearing that. That's not, that's not realistic. I'm not going to walk away wearing you know, wearing blue and green eyeshadow on an everyday basis. Like, that's not what Ariel looks like. Now, the Little Mermaid wears a very, very neutral eye look. Her classic bold lips. She does have pretty thin cartoon eyebrows, of course. Um, so I just did my basic everyday eyebrow look. I did add some eyeliner kind of to kind of blend the lashes in a little bit. Probably came out a little too thick. But this is my... You know, this is my inspiration. This is my take on the Little Mermaid makeup look. It's every day. It's very wearable. You can wear this every single day. It's nothing too dramatic or crazy. And it's not no blue-green eyeshadow because, honestly, I cringe when people call it a Little Mermaid Ariel look. I'm like, got the red lipstick, right? But she's not wearing blue-green eyeshadow. The Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. This is a brand new palette from Urban Decay. I love, love, love this palette. I use the eyeshadow to the eyeshadow so so I've already washed my skin now we're gonna take some primer I've been using the elf poreless primer because Ariel has a beautiful complexion and beautiful poreless skin for a girl that just swims in the entire ocean all day long am I right <laughs> I'm just going to apply this on my skin Now after I do that, I'm going to take the Kors Greek Yogurt Lip Balm and just before I, you know, throw it away because I personally don't like wasting product, so that's why I still have it and I'm still using it. But I've not purchased anything that is tested on my animals, but I'm just using this because, you know, I, I need to use it up. I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to mix the two foundations together. Sorry about that. My friend called me. My best friend called me and you can't ignore calls from your best friend. So I just finished applying my foundation. I used the corresponding concealer which is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and then I also used the Physician's Formula Instant Ready Concealer as well because Ariel has a beautiful flawless complexion. Now we are going to apply a powder to set this because obviously you can't really go around doing this. So actually, I use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer, SPF 15, and Reserve Your Cabana. I don't know why this is marketed as a bronzer. I'm a pale person, and this works out as a powder to me. But I love this as a powder. It's, it has a luminizing finish, so it looks really, really natural. And it's not, like, too powdery, so I'm just going to apply this all over the skin. We're going to start on with the brows. So I'm using the NYX um, eyebrow pencil in Auburn. Yes. And I'm going to be just stroking my eyebrow hairs in an upward motion. Now, the Little Mermaid has very, very thin cartoonish eyebrows. I'm not going to do that because this is, go this is supposed to be a everyday wearable look. So I'm just going to do my brows like normal. I'm also going to be using two colors in the Naked Heat palette for my eyebrows. If you are a redhead, this palette is so versatile for your eyebrows and things like that. I'm going to be using um, Cayenne right here and He Devil on my eyebrows. And once my eyebrows are done, I'll be back because doing eyebrows for me is a process because as you can see, there's not much going on there. So I will be back when my brows are done. So, now that I have my brows done, they look a little crazy and rock I'll, I'll definitely touch them up and fix them when I'm done with the eye makeup look. So, we're going to go on to the eyes, which are the main focus, focus of this look. So, the first color we're going to be using is the um, color called Ounce. It's the first light color here in the palette. We're going to take a Smashbox Big Fluffy Bunny Brush and we're going to be just applying it all over the lid and the brow bone. Going to the palette, and that is called Chaser. 
We're actually going to take the brush that I came with. I'm going to take this um, blending powder brush and we're going to apply the color Chaser. Chaser in the crease. This Estee Lauder blending brush, which I've had forever. I'm going to take a color called Sauce, which is the third lightest color in the palette. And we're just going to kind of be adding a little more depth. We're going to go back with the Smashbox big fluffy brush and we're going to just blend all this out. Now that we've done that, we're going to apply some mascara. I'm going to take the Tarte Life Camera Lashes Mascara. I'm just going to apply a quick coat of mascara. A little bit of mascara everywhere. Um, I'm going to wait for it to dry so it's easier to kind of just to pick away and I won't smudge. Now you could finish the eye look right there, but we're going to be applying some false lashes. I'm going to let the mascara dry and we're going to be applying some lippy liner for the classic little mermaid Ariel Bold Red Lip. I'm going to be taking two lip liners and I'm going to take the color, this is by Essence or Essie, Essel. it's a lip liner in 14, which stay bright, bright red. And I'm going to take this color called Saint, this best brand called Santee and it's in 15 carbon, it's just more of a deeper coned red and we're going to be applying some red lip liner. So now we're going to be applying some lashes on just to add some more length because I don't have naturally long lashes at all. We're going to take the Eye Allure um, London Lengthening Multi-Pack. They're just lengthening lashes. I love these lashes for every day. They're really natural and really, really lengthening. They're nothing fancy or crazy so I'm going to be applying some duo dark tone glue and we're going to apply the lashes and once the lashes are applied I'll be back with that because like I said lashes like eyebrows are not the funnest to put on but since you know I wasn't gifted with long lashes we're going to apply these bad boys and I love how it says left and right so you know which eye to put on because I feel like it's kind of confusing with lashes some people don't really know but putting the left and the right the L and the R really really useful so we're going to put these bad boys on so I um, added some eyeliner, I added the Kat Von D um, Tattoo Eyeliner in Mad Max Brown, and then I also added mascara on the lower lash line just a little bit, and I kind of um, added a little, little, little bit more eyeshadow, a little bit of eyeshadow, just a little bit more. Now we're going to be applying blush, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Party literally how it's spelled so I just assume that's the way you sound it. It's just a beautiful, pretty basic, rosy, mauved out pink and we're going to be using the same fluffy brush and we're just going to be dabbing that on the cheeks because you know she has like this really healthy rosy glow I feel like and I feel like this is a really good everyday blush. I got this blush um, on my birthday from Sephora. It's like if you're beauty and you get um, uh, liquid lipstick from Tarte in this. I'm going to be applying a little bit on the nose. Okay, so now that we have done that, we're going to apply a little bit of highlight because, you know, she's under the sea and she's a queen. Princess, but could be a queen. Um, the Song and Kashuk, um, what is this? Chic Illuminizing Highlighter Stick in 43. I cannot pronounce the name of the name right here because I just cannot pronounce it. This highlighter, guys. Beautiful. So we're going to be taking. Where is it? So we're going to be taking the Smashbox brush, Smashbox, Smashbox fluffy brush. We're going to be kind of applying some to the back of my hands, and we're going to be taking that and just applying some along the nose, really some lightly. It's a cream, and I just put powder on. This is normally a big no-no, but.
Okay, so now that I have probably the mascara dried up a little on the lower lash line, we're going to be taking this Wet n Wild Color Icon Coal Eyeliner. Where's the shade? And calling your bluff. It's just a, basically like a, a nude shade. We're going to be sharpening this up and we're going to be applying it um, on the waterline just to make my eyes look a little more opened up and bright. Really beautiful, everyday, little mermaid vibe look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great one. Bye.